Okay, this is me a quick guide on digestive system. We're starting over here. Um, food comes into your oral cavity. And the key things they look for is if they put anything over here, this is your nasal cavity, obviously. Now, this is your nasal sphinx, your oral sphinx. Then down here, anything in this area basically would be your, um, would, right over here would be your uh, laryngo sphinx. This is your, this is your uh, epiglottis, protects your trachea from receiving food, but also this is your esophagus, your esophagus. Over here is your stomach, obviously. Now your stomach, this is the rugae of the stomach. This is the fundus, the top little notch that uh, could be seen on x-rays because it contains air over here. This is the uh, esophageal sphincter right in this region. Esophageal sphincter is a physiological sphincter as well, if they ask you that. Um, this is the pyloric region. Pyloric region has a pyloric sphincter. Uh, leads in duodenum, the beginning of the small intestine. Um, this over here is the pancreas. This long looking fishbone thing is the pancreatic duct, and this would be your spleen. Now, over here is your intestines. So, this is your small intestine. The top half basically is the jejuum, and this area is the ileum. Ileum, jejuum. Okay, jejuum, ileum. Now, that kind of leads out over here to the ileocecal valve. And this right here is your cecum. This is the veriform appendix. Veriform appendix, cecum. This is ascending, uh, ascending colon, transverse colon, descending colon, and then the sigmoid colon. This is your rectum, and this is your anus. So these here are hastrum. The multiple would be hastri. Um, back up here to the liver. This is your gallbladder. You look here, leading off the gallbladder, you have your cystic duct, you have your right hepatic duct, your left hepatic duct. This area where they actually meet over here is the common hepatic duct. So again, this is your gallbladder, this is your cystic duct, this is your right hepatic duct. Right over here is your left hepatic duct and that's the common hepatic duct. Now where the common hepatic duct and assisted duct meet, you have your, <clears throat> your common bile duct. It leads all the way through here, down here, it meets with the pancreatic duct, and that goes to the sphincter of Odi into duodenum. Uh, beginning of the small intestine there. So that's basically what they would ask you about this model in a nutshell. Um, yeah.